Hey everybody, Dan here from Sherpa T. This is part two of the Sherpa Geddon trip in Bermiji, Minnesota. What we're attempting to do right here is get across the road to go to McDonald's, but we were not successful in getting up that bank. There was just some uh, hard snow or a bank that was on top that was just make me spin. I could not get up that bugger to save my life. Joe, in the meantime, took another route. We did have uh, that Argo just drive right up and absolutely no issues whatsoever. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy, but Joe did eventually make it to McDonald's. So again, right now we are in Fiji, Minnesota. We are at the Doubletree Hilton Hotel. Get the stage up to go out on the lake. I have no idea what's in store for us. We've been out there already, uh, busting up some ice. Nothing too significant like what we've done in the past, but it's pretty cool. I have never seen this many shrimps together. This is fantastic. I'm as excited right now as I was when I was out there with the R. This is cool. Take a look. Like in the middle, middle of Lake of the Woods, so it's actually, it's not a toy, it's a tool yep. to get out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I, had, I actually had snowmobiles, got rid of the snowmobiles because I don't like working on things. Yep. So I figured I'd just work on one thing and, and uh, so it's actually a tool, but I also use it for work a little bit, so it's, yeah, so it's kind of a, it's a tool, but it's also a toy. So do, do you have the trailer for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, the trailer goes behind the surf. No, no, no. Uh, no, I wish I would have. I wish I would have got one when. You got more shirt boats hey, with old hats. You got her, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing? Thank you. For sure. Yeah, That's fun. I think we're kind of ready to load up and head out. All right. So we kind of started the whole thing out like kind of like a race. We all left at the same time and zipped over to that open water spot. I was actually able to get up into fourth gear even in all this snow. I was kind of surprised. There was about 30 total Sherps that were at the event. They were scattered from here to eternity around the open water. It was hard to capture all of them, all of them, but I did my best to try to do that. There was all different types of Sherps and they were from all over the country. In fact, Asta Cruiser was there, so there was people there out of the country. I think everybody popped in the water at least once. Uh, lots of different skill sets. There were some people, this is the first time they were ever driving their Sherp on ice and snow, so obviously they're not gonna be as good as people who are used to it. Mesmerizing. That's what I would call this. It was an excellent sight. That many Sherps in one location at one time. This water is typically open quite a bit, it sounds like, throughout the year. The ice around this was still fairly thick kind of see with some of the chunks that are in there. That's just an absolute crazy dive. There's that shirt pickup. Almost bought one of those. I'm, I'm glad I just went with a pro, but there's some nice features about those. He was flying around. It seemed like because it was lighter, it could get onto the ice and off the ice much more efficiently. Here's a very efficient exit. The right pressure, the right speed for the number of people in the chirp. 
and you can pop out really easily. There was quite a crowd gathered up on top of that bridge. I actually was too busy filming or I would have given people a ride as I have in the past. I believe Ostacruiser gave quite a few folks a ride. I'm sure they had an absolute blast. Joe here was kind of struggling. There was three people in the Sherp. Um, he did not have his fuel canisters in. And honestly, there was a hole in the back of the Sherp from previous damage that was sealed that was leaking a little bit. More on that a little bit later. Absolute wonderful time. People were great, conditions were great, temperature was right around, around 30 degrees. It was nice. Might even been above freezing. He makes getting up on the ice just be effortless. Absolutely crazy. Joe on the left, struggling again. There's too many cool things going on for me not to show you all this footage. It's turned up to about 800 speed right now. There is Sherps absolutely everywhere. Well, if there would happen to be an issue, we certainly have the right team assembled right now to make a rescue. Hint, hint. Could be something coming up in a future video, you never know. Yeah, I didn't sit around just filming the whole time. I did drive the turf a little bit. That annoying buzzing noise you're hearing is somebody needing to oil their chains. That's the alarm telling you you have to push the button. Punching it, letting off. That's what he's doing right now on that pickup truck. It's kind of a neat thing to do. Notice on this particular Sherp, there's like a cage that goes around the outside of it. That's called the romp system. I could have got that for, I think it was another 5,000 bucks on the outside of it, and I just chose not to get it because I'm not going to roll it.
That is up to the top of the windshield for sure. Woohoo! Yes! Cheers. Go. All right, one sec. So watch. Take this. Go down here. Yep. Done. It's in the middle? Yep. Alright. Again, we believe the combination of not having in those fuel cells, a little bit of leaking that was out there, the number of people in there, the unbelievable sound system that was in there that was adding weight, contributed to him having difficulty getting out of the water. This drone that's out here is just insane fast and loud. There you can hear that's a smaller one. It was just such a thrill being out with this many sherps. I can't describe how much fun I actually had. It was just an absolute blast. Getting in and out of the water was easy this year just because of the amount of snow that we had and the snow that was on the ice. It wasn't really a lot of glare ice, so it was easy to get in and out. I love bouncing up and down on the ice like that. That sure picked up was one thing that was absolutely, it, it made a statement. He could go faster through the water, I think, than anybody. He could pop up on the ice probably faster than anybody, and he was able to dive into the water better than most people, too, without getting a lot of water inside of the cab. So that was pretty cool. You kind of heard or seen me do this at Flaters, too, but uh, oh, look at that chirp again. Oh, that's cool. But I absolutely love going right on the edge of that ice and kind of doing a donut and letting that back tire pop into the water and spinning around. And there's some footage of that coming up real soon. Walking on the side of the ice like that is really kind of a thrill because it just doesn't feel like you should be able to do it. And even the big ones, uh, you have to be perfectly perpendicular to that ice to be able to get up. If you go up sideways, you're just gonna flop over to one side and go over. It's just the way that they work. Sure, BT again sliding that back out. Look at that front wheel off the ground. That is cool. And we got a couple little icebergs breaking off too. That's a lot of fun. He's had a lot of practice. He likes, seems like he likes the balance on that. I'm a edge, right? And just float down.
Wow, that makes it look too easy. No. Yeah. <laughs> That can is still on that ice. That's impressive. Oh, is he trying to float it? No, oh, the chunk of ice. He gets on top of the icebergs. Yeah. No, I think he's good. It will be. It's it'll be inside. Yep, yep. I got one of right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right, this should be an interesting one too. <laughs> Rich from Rich's Rebuilds refused to ride with me, although one of his team did go, so that was kind of cool. And he was kind enough to share his video with me from his iPhone. So greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. You want to go? I'm like, you know, I think I'm all set for this one. straps to pull this guy out just in case Chad you know what I think I'm all set <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I puckered up when I saw that. <laughs> it wasn't nice. that bad inside. Dude, that seemed like dude. it was going to... Because even... Dude, dude, I saw the underbill. I thought you were going to eat shit. Like, he, I saw the belly. I'm like, oh, boy. This is... That was wild. Nice driving, by the way. Oh, thank you. So That's awesome, man. All right, what's your name? What's your channel? Dan Meyer. Sherp ET. Sherp ET is what we're hoping for. Sherp ET. Check it out. There's oh, a lot more there. Goodness. That is wild, That was dude. so cool. You drove the hell out of this. Oh, thing. so right now I feel like I was in a race. I, my body is just... Yeah, if you didn't keep giving it there, it I think you might have actually win. You were right there, you're, man. You were like this. You had two wheels. I thought you... 
about to go back and we have yeah. a rescue mission. Oh my that goodness. Is that, that is so wild. Guy has balls on him. My <laughs> gosh, dude. Woo! Holy smokes. Well, this is part two of, again, it's going to be a three part video. This is coming kind of to the end of me playing around out here uh, with Sherps, where Sherps are the main focus. We had a lot of fun. Those little maneuvers that I just did were fairly popular with the group. Uh, met a lot of great people. Had a fantastic time. The next thing that we did, though, was something that was quite unique, and that's going to be the focus of my next video. And that is the tuck truck. Uh, it's a prototype vehicle that he was out there testing. The goal was to break something, and he did succeed. They found a weak point. Um, That's what's a weak coming point for that tomorrow. they were actually assuming that they had, and they had a new one being made. So can't hold anything back on it. It looked like a very, very well-manufactured machine. More to come. 500 horsepower, four-wheel independent steering. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I know, I was planning on hitting that thing and I was hoping it would break something. You jumped you. It was like, boy, wham! I think we got it on there. Oh, that would be sweet. That would be sweet. Special thanks again to Sherp USA. Asta Cruz, it was great to meet you. It was fantastic to meet all the Sherp owners. Please hit that like button if, in fact, you did like the video. Throw some comments out there. Greatly appreciate it. Look forward to the next video. The Tut Truck was awesome. Take care, everyone.